Welcome back guys to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney where after we've completed the first two cases Phoenix is out on his own now that he has his own law offices with Mayor Faye as backup. We move on to a new episode with great glee because I'm glad for the response that you guys have put towards this. You want to see more so I will bring more straight away as we move on to episode 3. Turnabout Samurai, let's confirm and see what a new case has for us. Krah! You've disgraced me for the last time, still Samurai! The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood! <laughs> the moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon, for it will be the last moon you ever see! See you in hell, evil magistrate! The warrior's swords gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode! The Dark Messenger returns! I'm not the only one who does cliffhangers then. October 14th, 5.31pm. Writer and co law officers, we've renamed it in fact. That rocked! See you in hell, evil magistrate! Whoa, stop waving that broom around! Oh, Nick! I didn't know you were here! Of course I'm here! What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick! You mean, you don't know the Steel Samurai? He's only the most popular TV hero for young people! Young? Like, how young? Um, 10 years old? And what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17! At 17, see? I'm a teen! Not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. And watch it with me. He's really cool. And it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, still Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Gramps? Well, the Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. But no one paid any attention to the Wright & Co. law officers. How am I going to pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big clients just around the corner. <laughs> As we move on to another day, October 16, 8.14am in Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Let's see his boudoir. Ring, ring! Indeed. H hello? This is Phoenix. N nick Mayor? What? It's still early. I- It's the Still Samurai! The Still Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um... Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV! No, I mean he actually did it! In real life! He skewered a villain with his samurai spear! I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office, quick! Please, Nick! So he came over as quick as he could to the Wright & Co. law offices. He is here, watching television. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Oli Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, oh, no, no, it's a nightmare. The still samurai is over. The world is over. Yes, writing code law offices. What? 
Nick! It's the still samurai! W what? Yes, yes, of course. We'll be right there. Let's go, Nick! Go? Go where? They have the still samurai down into tension. So what? So, I've decided this will be our first case. Okay, you've just decided, have you? I think that's up to a uh, defendant here. But still, you seem to have puffed out mouth. So let's talk a little bit more and reset your face. What to do, my dear? Well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai! Does she want to investigate this case or just do some sightseeing, I wonder? My money's on sightseeing. And she seems happier now for some reason. Any ideas? We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it. You don't have a clue what happened. No, we just don't have enough information. Right, we haven't even got the case yet, but I guess we'll just move on then, my dear. <laughs> it's just, just move on. It's better to find the information, really, by talking to the defendant and see if he wants us. Okay, to the detention centre it is. A very lion-esque man has appeared. What's wrong, Mayor? It's him, in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him! Will Powers, our client, that's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but he definitely did it. Murder, at least once, maybe twice. Whoa, 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 what are you saying? Um, yes? Something wrong? No, no. This is getting off to a great start, indeed it is. I know, I know, you're disappointed, aren't you? In your voice as well. You look manly, but your voice sounds a bit like mine. Not so manly. D disappointed? Oh no, oh no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> Nick? What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He didn't do it. That's for the evidence to decide. Right then, so we'll talk to Mr. Extremely Hairy Chest like he's got some kind of wig poking out of his top. Mr. Will Powers, what happened, sir? Maybe you could start by telling us what happened, indeed. Y yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 in the afternoon. But when 5 came around and the staff gathered at the studio, evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. I took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead! He had been expertly squared with a samurai spear. I do wonder how that wound is so clean. A samurai spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I, of the steel samurai, uses as a weapon. Okay, let's talk more about the steel samurai then. Maybe you could explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is. Nick, how could you say such a thing? I, I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's all right, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kid's show. He walks the streets of near Oldie Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. <laughs> uh, I see. New Odi Tokyo? Who comes up with these names? Right then, Powers Alibi. I'm guessing he doesn't have one if he's stuck here. Powers is, even. Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studios at 9. 
they worked through some action scenes until noon. The rehearsal was to begin at five, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was five! It's after five, in fact. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here, which means you have zero alibi. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder? Some action hero. What will the kids think? <laughs> I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right, Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick! Let's go! I'm willing to bet 10 bucks she asked for autographs. We'll find out if she does or not, but we have nothing to present at this point in time, so all we can do is move on to the scene of the crime. Right then, October 16th, we're not getting time tracked anymore. Global Studios main gate. Wow, so this is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Awesome, aren't you excited? Hey, you there. It's got to be the witch voice. You want in? You got to go through me. Uh, oh, sorry. We're, um, lawyers. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security. And it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. G gawkers? Gawkers, sightseers, tourists. I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. That's a bit weird for her, actually, so maybe we'll try to modify that. Use today. Something horrible happens and all you see is wasting your time in a place to live. Don't you have jobs you should be doing? Or do lawyers not work like the rest of us? Maybe I should become a lawyer too. Sounds like a life of ease to me with no one working just loafing around when I was young. Things were might different, mind you, with heavy clothes. What are the news coming to these days? My own son hasn't called in. Um, Nick, did you even manage to hear all that? No, because I didn't even manage to say all that. Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. Hey! Listen when you're being spoken to. Use today! Indeed. Well, that was one crazy spiel. That was indeed. Right, let's talk to Mrs. Oldbag, who may be the witch voice is a little over the top for her. But now we've started, can we really stop? The studios is what we'll talk about first, it seems. So, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days. No, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearly. W wow. This place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago now, that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then too, he was. Hammer? The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Okay then, let's speak. Well, we open up a dialogue about Mr. Hammer, but let's talk about the defendant first. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. Indeed. So why is the reason for suspicion? Well, first of all, we've opened up Mr. Hammer. We'll go in order. Why do you like Mr. Hammer and not Will Powers? What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if you only knew! Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series, so he's pretty much typecast. Should I have heard of that? But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. He's enough to make you cry. Okay, so your reason for the suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. Are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from one in the afternoon to five when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. 
So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. And Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I think I see what might be the thing here. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. Hm, I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request, and maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns this place, obviously. Right, so no more talking, but we gotta show a letter of request. So back to Mr. Powers. At the detention center, of course. Hello, how was the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> right then, so we need a letter of request, sir. Why does he hate you, though? Right, we're gonna have to talk more about your alibi, though. That makes sense, because supposedly you were walking around. Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No, I'd never do that. Earlier, you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady says she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible. I, I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business, and I need every advantage I can get. I know. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I swear to you on my mother's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me. What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Now, what would be walking around a set that might make you think it was him walking past, I wonder? I pose that question to you as we go on with the security lady. Um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady? Oh, he seemingly seemed more manly then. She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Yes, actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask, were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the bigwigs of the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let up on you. <sighs> She's got some nerve. Do you think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Of course. Okay, we've got ourselves the request. So now we've definitely got ourselves a defendant and we are the defense lawyer. Or attorney, in this case. I just hope this will get me past the security lady. Indeed, is there anything else to talk about now? No, we're all good. And so we move back to get ourselves in. Right, so obviously we probably can't talk about more things right now except to present and see what happens then. So, we will present indeed. Man. Have a look at this. It's a letter of request for Mr. Powers. Hmm? Yes, yes, I recognize the bold, childish scroll. Powers' request is given to the security lady. To think he would entrust his fate to you of such unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left from here, toward the studios. No going to the right. That's the employee area. No one allowed inside power with my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Well, I can't guess who that detective is by the sound of the sentence. Hey, hey, Nick. Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. You went in? Hey, not bad. That was a 50 cents a piece, thank you. Oh my goodness. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents. Guide map of Global Studios has been added to the court record as we now go off. Now she looks all sweetness and light though, so we've got ourselves a guide map there. Guide map to the studios. We'll probably need this at some point. We've got Studio 1, Studio 2, and to the right, or to the left as we're looking from the other side round, if you know what I mean. If we turn it upside down, it's the employee area. Dressing room and gate seem to be important factors here. They really do, but for now, if we can't talk anymore... It's time to keep moving on, but we'll move on next episode. We have started 
a new chapter. We've got a little bit of information about what's going on and some suspicions right now of things that might have been seen. But join me next episode where we continue on with the case and gather all that all important information before we go into court. I'll see you around for more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney in the future. Bye bye.